All right, yeah, we're just gonna record this one. Okay, what's up, my party people? It's your boy, Darshan Smith, back again for another episode of the Positivity Hour. I think it's episode 129, if not 130. Um, obviously, you already know this, but this is kind of an impromptu thing we're doing here, so I'm just kind of checking in real time. And as you can see, I'm in a different spot. I'm not in my room for once. Uh, this is one of the things that I want to keep on elevating, you know, keep on changing as, you know, this year continues and then into the next year. I just want to keep growing the podcast, keep growing the concepts we talk about, the places we go, the people we have on, things of that nature, okay? And yes, this is episode 129. My memory did not fail me. And uh, yeah, today we're in Cedar Rapids on the top of the parking garage looking at this mural as the backdrop, you know? Um, if we move the camera this way, you can see, uh, you know, not only the double tree by Hilton right there, um, and you can also just see the rest of downtown. So maybe we'll just have the rest of downtown. And I mean, it does continue all the way over here as well, but uh, the bigger buildings, you know, we'll, we'll just angle it this way and um, do some real real time framing for you. Okay, let's, let's see what we're looking like, okay? The camera's a little uh, off kilter, as some would say. We actually level it up. There we go. Well, it's 100% fine now. Okay. So let's get into today's topic. Okay. What's today's topic, Darshan? I, Darshan doesn't even know what today's topic's about. I'm just messing with you. It's about why you need to always continue with, like, like, hold on, I'm saying this poorly. It's, you always need to continue to learn something in life. Okay. Um, let me just make sure this camera's actually pointed, like, relatively towards my head and everything. Shout out to that motorcycle. It was pretty nice. But, um, Yes, like whether it's, you know, learning something in school, learning something informally, you know, via training uh, from a peer or a colleague or some other institution and or uh, situation where you can learn something such as an apprenticeship or an online course or something like like whatever you can think of. Yes, use it. Please continue to learn. That's what today's episode's about. I'm not gonna give you like my five steps or five tips and tricks of why you should. No, you should. You just need to. Okay, I can give you more than five. Okay, and what really inspired this is the whole like uh, full-time filmmaker class. Uh, not class. This course I'm taking right now. I just bought this starter kit. You know, I didn't want to spend you know a thousand dollars yet. You know, I'm not. I'm not like that official yet but you know it's an investment in myself so i bought the like little like 40 50 dollars starter kit still has like three hours worth of material and i'm just slowly just working through it on like how to budget um your business how to obviously price your services what to get you know when to get it understanding what's best for you and not just telling you what's good and then you go spend way too much money on something you don't even need you know this is just me talking about my experience though you know what i'm saying uh, I, and i just want to convey that experience to you and um hopefully also talk about how i want these episodes of the positivity hour to you know not only be positive not only to be uh you know include personal stories of my own that is literally what spotify had classified this as a personal stories podcast which i'm fine with but um i also want you to take something away from this you know what i'm saying i want there to be a theme you know i'm trying to get better at storytelling i also want to like try and plan these episodes out a little bit more and obviously you know just just make paths uh, you know, go my own little gold brick roads to, you know, get to the goals and areas in which I see myself going with this. So uh, I brought my nicer camera out, the Sony A7 Mark III. As you can see, new lens, uh, microphone. Obviously, I don't have the the phone up here because I was like, I was I was gonna, you know, do the whole speaking to the phone thing, but. Um, there's a lot of wind up here when you're like 10 stories up and you know, uh, downtown area. So, and yeah, we're right off the interstate and everything. So there's just a lot of traffic moving in the air around. So I was like, let me use this mic because it has a little uh, little kitty on top. Uh, if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, I'll insert a picture here or something like that. I probably won't, but you know what I'm talking about if you know cameras. So just because of that, I'm gonna insert the picture. But yeah, I say all that to say that, you know, we're out here living our best life, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, I was just, I went home for a little bit, talked to my mom, you know, shout out to my mom, always trying to learn something from my mom, teach my mom something. You know, I need to go home, see my dad, and that side of the family as well, eventually here soon. Um, but, you know, whatever we're doing out here, I'm just always trying to learn something and become better, become great. Give something to someone, take in something from someone else, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a wise person once told me that uh, you have two ears and one mouth for a reason, okay? And that means listen, okay? Don't get it twisted. Uh, to listen, you need to find someone who is actually worthy of listening to. I don't know what that was. Uh, it wasn't a gunshot, though. Cedar Rapids is pretty safe, okay? But uh, I say all that to say that, um, you know, you have to actually go seek those people who are worthy of your you know, ear power, because these two ears lead straight to your brain, and your brain is a powerful thing that can be manipulated, objectively speaking, you know what I'm saying? This is why I say, common theme here, you need to learn for the rest of your life, okay? Find you something you can do in which you can learn for the rest of your life, okay? Scenery change, we're gonna come over and look at the sun setting now, okay? Slash the flowers in the background. It's a little overexposed, but whatever. I'll keep it just for now. Um, oh, now it's a little too high. Okay, uh, this is what happens when you're just kind of winging it by yourself out here on the top of a parking garage, making stuff up as you go. But uh, that's the point though. You know, it's about, you know, learning, trying something new. Uh, once you learn something new, going in to apply it, okay? That's what this is all about. You know, this is me testing my equipment. This is me living the life that I want to live and just trying to be that guy, you know what I'm saying? Not to be like all show Bodhi or something like that, but just to be a person who is worthy of li being listened to. Uh, luckily, uh, and sadly at the same time, I have the luxury of, you know, being able to be listened to quite often, but sometimes that's not the case. Um, and I'm trying to get better at that because, you know, I want to do big things in this world, whether it's, you know, ph uh, philanthropy or some other actions in which, you know, require me to be good with words or be able to, like, like I said, tell a story. I'm trying to get really good at this camera stuff. So I, I look at this podcast as not only as a way for me to practice um, and teach nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? That's what this is about. But I view it as an area to, you know, just just develop and make it into something that is uniquely itself you know what i'm saying so right now this is the positivity hour maybe i change the name every other year maybe i change the topic of every video to have the my 10 tips or you know let's this is what the episode is going to be it's going to be a way more edited high production thing like let's learn it together because you know me i i'm definitely the default like one take guy okay because that's what a podcast is you know what i'm saying it's just a recorded conversation it is what it is you know what i'm saying but something i've always found interesting and this is amazing that i just thought about this but i, I did it so subconsciously that i'm gonna put you on game right now uh something i found super interesting as of late is that in most podcasts and even my instagram clips in which i was saying sometimes you need to talk into a mic you know you can you can obviously tell that a person is trying to be recorded or something like that and when i listen to podcasts you know whether it's a talk show or whether it's some sort of media that has people uh you know sitting down in a room together they always are talking into mics so the mics getting in the way of the conversation they're hitting it it's very obvious that it's there but this setup i have right now is great i have no mics on me i can go wherever i want you know what i'm saying i can do whatever i want because the camera has the mic attached you know what i'm saying and i did a little quick test and i sounded all right so let me know how you think this sounds um obviously i want to get more creative you know whether that's like getting an actual studio and then like using shotgun mics to put right above the frame like right where my hands are right here so that you can't see the mic but you can obviously still have good quality or something like that because like i've just always found that strange and something that i've never seen before so it's a way that i want to innovate and obviously bring the viewer which is you thank you so much for giving me your time a little bit closer into what we got going on here so let me see how long uh we're going for here we're going we've been going for eight minutes so far so i think we're doing all right what else can we talk about oh i didn't do the whole uh like thing that's part of the, my brand you know what i'm saying just talking about how i'm doing living life you know such like that so we're gonna do that section now uh life's great okay we're gonna do a scenery change and again we're gonna face the uh, what direction is this uh this is the direction towards my home i guess uh eastward all right and uh don't 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 follow me you can see my car right there but uh yeah here, there's the verizon building it's looking pretty uh but yeah we're gonna face it this direction you know we're gonna make it all 
look good and I'm gonna like lean over the edge or something. Oh yeah, kind of artsy like that so I can, you know, car spot or something while thing, uh, you know, people are going by. Cedar Rapids has this crazy car culture now uh, that started in the pandemic. I guess we've always had a car culture, but this specific aspect of the car culture has been something that started from the pandemic and like people just do random drive-throughs on like downtown and everything. Um, or just like all the way through First Avenue. It goes from one side to the other, literally. And um, yeah, you just see people in lawn chairs sitting on the curb, just watching other people's like old schools or Lamborghinis or something drive by. And it's just, it's so interesting, you know, like Loki, it's a little showboaty, a little display of wealth. But I think it also is pretty interesting and just like shows like a way to interact with your fellow community members without having to like interact with them, if you know what I mean. But back on to the whole like how I'm doing thing. I'm doing great. Like my life is really is going really well right now. You know what I'm saying? Like obviously I could have more money. Like obviously I could, you know, live in a cooler apartment or, you know, actually have a girlfriend or something. Like, you know, like we, we could always be better in life. But, you know, for me personally, it's just the simple reminders of my dreams, goals, and aspirations and what it takes to get there. Like personally, I don't think I'm in a stage of my life where I don't I I can have a girlfriend and like give her the uh, time she needs and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to grow, I'm trying to develop, I'm trying to, you know, get in shape myself, I'm trying to be outside for 12, 14 hours a day, so unless she's coming along with me, like, she ain't gonna see me ever. So, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get, get to this money. But that's another thing, you know, the money. Money's not everything, but don't get it twisted. Uh, the rent people don't care. You know, if you're gonna live somewhere, they need that rent on time. If you're gonna live somewhere, they need that electricity bill on time, okay? Money matters, okay? Money gets you into better schools. Money allows you better options, time, resources. You know, money is important. It's not everything. But to say it doesn't matter a whole lot it would be weird. So, I say all that to say, though, that, like, financially, I'm doing all right. You know, for a 22-year-old fresh out of college, like, it could be worse. But at the same time, I'm not rich. You know, although I spend all this money on this camera equipment and stuff sometimes, like, it's an investment. Like, this this is, instead of investing in the stock market, investing in a business. Like, I could really go hard in the paint, market my services, and get paid $250 to go do a 30-minute photo shoot. You know what I'm saying? And that paid off a quarter of this lens that I'm using right now. So, it's, it's a genuine investment. But I say all that to say that, like, um, money's not everything, but get paid in life. Continuing on though, outside of the girlfriend, outside of the money, my family's doing all right. Uh, you know, just I'm just trying to do my best to stay connected with them. You know, luckily I still live in Iowa, and most of my family still lives in Iowa, so I'm able to you know actually interact with them and such. But uh, you know, sometimes it's hard. You know, I'm trying to stay in contact with the folks who live on the other side of the state. Speaking of the other side of the state, Iowa Hawkeyes just won 20 to 13. Let's go Hawks, baby! And uh, yeah. Ooh, something I'm going to talk about is the production company. So, you know, I was referencing this camera, the microphone, stuff like that. Uh, production company is going great. Working with the marching band right now. Low-key, it's an unpaid internship. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I do get compensated a little bit. Um, but nothing that's, like, significant and being like, wow, this I'm going to do this full time. And I never expected it to be something. I never expected it to be something like that. So, um yeah, just go into every situation with no expectations. Like, and that that was a, this is a great segue back into this topic that we're talking about, which is always learning something from someone or something or an experience, or, and a lot of that comes from reflecting. And I've reflected on this a lot because, like I said, it's an unpaid internship, but I'm grateful for it because I've learned so much about the editing softwares I've used. I've learned so much about what it's like working with a team, a production team, you know what I'm saying? I have a production company, but we're, I'm working with like six other photographers, two or three other videographers or whatever, you know, we're all trying to create content, tell a story, archive that footage in those pictures and understanding like how to fit the brand. I think that's been the biggest challenge for me is because like for so long I've been doing the Darshan thing. I have the Darshan style, which is great. People have paid me for that, which is even better. But when you're working with a team that is not your own team, you have to learn how to adapt to their style, okay? And this is where the learning comes into play. There's, there's nothing wrong with being uniquely yourself, but uh, there's something wrong when you can't be uniquely yourself and fit the bill for what you're being paid for, because that's how you get fired, okay? So it's, it's been a challenge, but it's been a great challenge because it's made me a better photographer. You know, it's made me a better videographer. You know, it's made me a better storyteller. 
and it's just made me a better person because you know I have to have tough conversations I have to get criticized on my work I have to go out and about and actually do some research you know and learn like how do I do this feature on my camera you know it, when I do this that will happen you know it's taking this camera experience what you're literally listening and uh, watching right now and turning all of this into um, a repeatable plan of success rather than just something that you do randomly and you hope it works like sh using your camera on auto the whole time like I've been using my camera on manual mode, like all my settings are manual right now. That's why I'm going to go check it real fast to make sure I'm still properly exposed. And yeah, I'm properly exposed a little bit. Let me, uh, you know, just make sure the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, for all the people who are watching the video, you, you can see me adjusting the settings a little bit. But for those who are listening, you're great. The audio's good. Uh, there's no wind noise, hopefully, because my I can see the little fuzzies on my mic moving, but uh, that's the point. It's so they move and you don't hear the movement. So, gotta love it. And uh, yeah, it's just been a vibe. I've just been out here trying to learn as much as I can, you know, level up and obviously create challenges for myself. Because that's the only way you're going to get better. I'm trying to take a very entrepreneurial, uh, you know, way uh, to things. We're going to do a scenery change. We're going to flip directions and go this way downtown now. Uh, I'm trying to do like a scenery change and do like a different uh, kind of like entrepreneurial thing in life. And that means that you need to be really self-determined because People aren't going to tell you when to show up. They're not going to tell you what needs to be done and when it needs to be done. You know, you got to you gotta want it. You know what I'm saying? And that's the biggest thing that I've learned so far is that I got to start going super OP again with my planner and my scheduling my life in every minute. You know, not, not, not to the point where I was during school and being like, oh, I'm going to eat at this time to this time and take a shower at this time and this time, but reoccurring things. Like I update my website every Thursday, you know, I post to my business account Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you know, sometimes I do more posts like, or so, something like that, you know, those kinds of tasks you want to put into your calendar, put a reminder on. So obviously that you can, you know, stay on top of these things and obviously be a, uh, a, a, a good person that can actually change things in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like all these are all the things that I've learned. You know what I'm saying? I'd love to hear your personal stories. You know, if you're listening to this on YouTube or something, drop a comment below. Like, what's something you want to learn uh, before this year is over? You got four more months, so it's not over yet. Um, what's something that you have been trying to learn? If you're on Spotify, drop it into the Q&A. It doesn't have to be a question. You can just respond to it. Any and all interaction is appreciated because it helps the algorithm, you know what I'm saying? But I think that's about all I have to say today. Uh, we're about, uh, where are we? We're about 17 and a half minutes in. I think this has been a different episode and I think that's good. And I think I want to do more of these. I, I did one of these kinds of episodes with Brandon. Uh, it was like, 55 episodes ago but it did happen so I do want to do more but I've learned so much since then that the audio isn't gonna mess up this time it's gonna look great I'm gonna have my own filter on it it's every, it's gonna look amazing so uh, with all that being said uh, yeah it's been your boy Darshan Smith make sure you like subscribe unsubscribe hit comment follow unfollow share report I don't care what you do as long as you're staying positive at the end of the day that's all that matters and uh, yeah get the bread and uh, keep doing you, man. For real. It's a hard world out here. It's a cold, cold world, okay? She belongs to the streets, okay? Uh, but I say all that to say that um, I believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And you can do it because I'm, I'm doing it right now. I'm winging it. Thanks for listening if you made it this far. I really do appreciate it. And uh, go Hawks, baby. Uh, I guess we're just going to finish by me zooming into traffic or something. Uh, look alive for that. Ready? Three, two. Oh, I was underexposed this whole time. Okay, this is the after part. Oh, I did. did I, I didn't do the thing. All right, sorry. This is this episode is all over the place. Uh, goodbye. Woo. All right, now we're gonna do the after thing where I zoom in. And yes, I know I'm still talking to y'all. I guess you could listen if you want, but yeah, zooming in. Batman. Batman. Let me actually level my camera out. All right. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I do appreciate it, and uh, go Hawks.